Hello, 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 Freedom Fighters. The Quasar Cannon has been added to our arsenal, and today we will be checking if we should use it in our runs, or also embedded in our builds. Let's get right to it. To keep it simple, the Quasar Cannon is essentially the result if the Railgun and the EAT had a love child. It deals explosive damage like the EAT, but you have to hold the fire button for 4 seconds before it shoots. It doesn't take your backpack space, and unlike the railgun, you don't need to worry about blowing yourself up since it doesn't need to have an unsafe mode. It is also worth mentioning that since it's an energy weapon, it has a heat bar and doesn't need any ammo. You just need to wait for it to recharge to be able to fire again. Against automatons, it performs really well, seeing as it destroys pretty much anything that they have, from the smallest grunt to the hardest tanks. It does everything that you want from a support weapon. Ships get one shot when you hit their thrusters. Hulks get two shot. If you don't get to direct, hit them in the eye. But if you do, it gets one shot. Nice. Tanks, they only need three shots under turrets without hitting the vents. And if you do, you only need to hit them twice. The cannon towers, two direct hits does the job. And while it is a weird angle, you can clear fabricators with this thing as well. And yeah, you can destroy side objectives like the broadcast tower, but you can't seem to destroy harder targets like jammers and detector towers. So with that, you actually have to go in and destroy it the standard way. But other than that, all the heavies are no problem with this weapon. For the Terminids, it makes it so much easier to deal with everything in there. Spewers get one shot on their sacks, but for some reason, sometimes it's inconsistent and you need to finish them off with a primary. But it's not the biggest deal. Chargers are not as threatening as before. The only trouble you get from these guys are if you are constantly getting manhandled by the smaller bugs and you can't move and get a clear shot. With the Titans, I had different results for some reason. Maybe it's because we have a PS player in the squad, but one Titan got one shot on the face and the other one I hit it twice in the face, but we still ended up needing to shoot it six times before it went down. But that's without shooting it constantly in the face. So to be safe, it's somewhere between one and six shots for some reason. But the best thing about this weapon against the bugs is the fact that you can snipe Shrieker nests from so far away and you only need two shots per nest making it very effective as you don't need to get aggroed by the flying demons to destroy it. Right most right? Ooh, two sh One shot. Nice. The power spike this weapon gives our Helldivers is insane. We went to do tier 8 difficulties and just went to town. We didn't even bother sneaking around and just took all the fights. We ended up not extracting because we ran out of time having so much fun destroying everything but the point is that this weapon is a must have especially in team play. Team shotting something with this weapon is just so satisfying. The only drawback that I can see is that maybe when you're playing solo since its recharge time is kinda long. And you have to actually get a clear shot on everything since you don't have someone to clear up the area. But in team play, this is just S tier. I don't know if it's if it's gonna be another railgun situation, but I guess they're prepping us for something big, so it's too soon to say. So, what do you guys think? Is this weapon too powerful or a welcome addition to our arsenal? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below what you think. In my opinion, I think it is powerful, and I'm kind of thinking that this is probably going to be another quote-unquote railgun situation since it makes weapons like the recoilless and EAT redundant, but you know, let's give it let's give it a week or so. Players are still checking it out and a lot of you are build crafters anyway, so we'll see, we'll see. Now if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to slap that like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and I enjoy interacting with you guys. I'll see you next time and 
keep spreading freedom, Helldiver.